Do you know in the deep there's adventure and danger? That's where you'll find Ivor Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Diver Dan, Finley, and their friend Horace are hopelessly lost in a seaweed forest. They wander about in an endless sea, trying to solve this mystery. This Sargosa Sea is worse than they ever imagined. Well, seaweed's so thick you can hardly move. Why did I ever wander away from all of you? This is all my fault. Now, Horace, don't go blaming yourself. The Baron was the real culprit. That's true, no matter how you look at it. In all the problems we've faced here on the ocean floor, the Baron has been involved. But what can we do? Uh, we're uh, talking up a storm about you, boss, uh, Baron. At this point, I don't care. I just hope they find their way back to Teetering Rock, or we too will rot in this tangled ocean jungle. Mm -hmm. I'm getting scared. Jellyfish, whenever you get in a jam, you get scared. I'll find a new trigger fish. <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. You, you know me, boss. Yes, and sometimes I wish I didn't. Ah, oh, boss. Call me Baron Clamhead. You're okay, Baron Clamhead. Any news? None. Ooh, not a word. I have every faith that Finley and the diver will not only find Horace, but if they've met other troubles, they'll find a solution. Oh, I hope you are right. Now let's put our heads together and figure this out. If you were up on land and, and you were lost, how would you find your way? Or what would you do if your ship were lost out in the middle of the ocean? Well, on land or on top of the ocean, one usually would have a compass indicating which direction is north. And if there were no compass, you can always tell your direction by the stars, following the north star. Stars? Well, we don't have any stars here. We don't even have a compass, whatever that is. If only there was some way to tell direction. We have currents, like the Gulf Stream. Do you know which way the currents flow? Well, uh... Sargosa Sea Current is colder and flows into the warmer waters where we live. Well, that means it flows south. And the Teetering Rock is right at the end of the Sargosa Sea. So all we have to do is travel with a cold current, and we'll be heading to the Teetering Rock. Right. Why didn't you think of that, stupid? Yeah, we'll follow the current and uh, get there before they do, boss. Uh, let's go. Who are you telling? Let's go. I give the orders. <clears throat> Let's go. Sorry, boy. Uh, Baron. Let's make sure we do this right. Finley, we'll use you for a kind of weather vane. A what? Uh, just relax completely. And whichever way the current carries you will be south, right? All right. All right. Yeah, I guess. Now relax. Here goes. Hold it, Finley. Well, no doubt about it. That's south. So we travel in the same direction. See? Careful thinking without panic and find a solution. Now we're off. Back to Teetering Rock. And out of this green mess. Miss Minerva, I think a storm is brewing. I suggest we all wait it out at my place. The storm? Ooh, and Diver Dan and Finley are in back. <laughs> Poor Harris is still out there, too. Do you really think we'll have a storm, Skipper Kipper? My aches and pains bring ocean rains. And when my blood turns warm, we're going to have a storm. I never know when your predictions are right, Skipper. Last time you had a fever, you predicted all sorts of bad weather. But nothing happened until you were well again. You are healthy as a trout heading upstream, Skipper. Skipper, I can feel the water changing now. Oh, it's a storm, all right. Yeah, let's all go over to my place right now. I think it's a good idea, Miss Minerva. We can't help Diver Dad and Finley just sitting here. We may as well be over at Skipper's. got 
here none too soon. She's going to be a real whippersnapper. Oh, I hope I don't have to go out in a case in a storm like this. Poor Finley. Poor Diver Dan. Poor Horace. current to follow as a storm stirs the sea. What will the fate of our good friends be? In such a pearl, can they survive? Will any of them ever return alive? He moves among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, flashing jaws, clapping fins, snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Iver Dan.